Emergency Response Guidelines for a Biohazard Spill In an emergency situation that involves blood or other potentially infectious materials OPIM, universal precautions and other engineering and work practice controls should be used to minimize exposure to infectious substances. In case of a spill of blood or any other potentially infectious material, care must be taken not to aerosolize the substance. Caution must be observed to avoid any exposure to the contaminant through broken glass, needles, razors, etc. The following is a generic set of guidelines that can be used for containing and cleaning up a biological spill. Step 1. Personal Protective Equipment PPE. Prior to beginning the cleanup process, don a pair of protective gloves and safety goggles. Step 2. The Spill Kit A spill kit should be readily available in the workplace, and should include the following items. Disinfectant, such as household bleach, Lysol, etc. Paper towels Disinfectant wipes PPE, such as nitrile or latex gloves, safety goggles, etc. Forceps, brush, and dustpan for picking up needles and sharps. Leak-proof sharps containers, if needles and sharps are present, and biohazard bags. Step 3. Spill Decontamination Cover the spill area with paper towels and then pour an appropriate disinfectant on top, starting from the edges of the spill and moving inwards towards the center. When selecting an appropriate disinfectant, read the manufacturer's guidelines to determine the suitable concentration and contact time for a specific kind of spill. Any needles or other sharps that may result in a percutaneous exposure should be picked up by mechanical means only, such as with forceps, a brush, and dustpan. Wipe up the disinfected material using paper towels or absorbent pads. Step 4. Disposal Place the disinfected material, gloves, and other disposable materials in biohazard bags for disposal. Needles and other sharps must be placed in approved sharps containers. Disposable PPE must be placed in medical waste containers for disposal. Step 5. Decontamination of PPE Decontaminate reusable PPE with an appropriate disinfectant. Step 6. Rinse the contaminated area. After the contaminated area has been cleaned, it should be rinsed with fresh water to remove any residue from surfaces. Step 7. Wash hands. Once the spill cleanup is complete, wash hands thoroughly with soap and water. Step 8. Reporting. It is important to remember that the incident should be reported to the supervisor as soon as feasible, 